I ran into somebody one day and we were catching up and she asked, well, how you doing? How you been doing? And I responded with, oh, well, you know, just trying to be better every day, trying to do the best I can, you know, being better, working on being better. And her response was, well, aren't we all? Yep, ain't we all? And it was at that moment that it occurred to me that no, everybody isn't trying to do the best they can. Everybody isn't trying to be better every day. Now, as I sit before you, and as I'm speaking to you right now, the woman you are looking at through this screen, I have not always been here. I can admit that fully. There are some things that I did in my younger years that I wouldn't do again, um, that, that I'm not proud of, you know, but those things shape me and they help me grow. You know, and there comes a time at some point in life where you have to get your head in the game. And after you've seen some things, after you see the hand of God in life, after you see how there is a higher power, we are not our own authority. A higher power is real. Not out of a fear as in being scary, but a reverence as in I understand that there is a higher power. You would think when some people grasp that, you would think that when people understood that this physical body does have an expiration date, you would think that it's something that just happens that people understand it's time out of being a certain way. It's time out of doing things a certain way. It's time out for treating people a certain way. It's time out for treating themselves a certain way. But the truth is no, everybody is not trying to get better every day. In fact, some people are quite comfortable and they don't want you to move them. They don't want you to try to help them move. They don't want to put aside their foolish ways. They are quite all right where they are. I think it's important for us as chosen people to understand this because many times, because of who we are, we want and expect and hope the best for everybody. And sometimes we can want it so much so we want it more for other people than they want it for themselves. We want people to deal honestly with us. We want people to show us the same respect and love and appreciation that we do for them. Many times we approach people with the belief that they fear karma or that they have a reverence for the most high or that they are really trying to get themselves together on a soul level. All to find out after they've swindled us, after they've cheated us out of our money, after they've wasted our time, after they've lied to us, after they've gone behind our back and done the unthinkable, we realize that there is no fear of God in their heart. Only to find out that their moves were calculated and thought out, that they strategically lurked and prayed and waited to pounce on us at the right time. And sometimes this can put us in a place, if we're not careful, of anger and sheer unforgiveness and revenge and wanting to get back and thoughts of retaliation. Because we think to ourselves, how, why could you do that? How, why, for what? What's wrong with you? I know you ask that sometimes, like, what is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? And what's wrong with some people, you all, is some people are not interested in getting better. Some people don't want to grow. Some people don't want to be healthy. Some people don't want to learn. Some people like being where they are. Some people's to-do list will be the same every day until they leave this earth just in a more advanced way. They don't want to stop lying, cheating, and stealing, and swindling people, and intentionally misleading people. They don't want to stop doing that. They actually find joy and pleasure in it. This is the truth. There are people who would not lose a wink of sleep after doing the unthinkable to people. And I know we don't like to believe that those type of people exist, but they do. There are some people who will smile so hard and grin in your face and love on you and stroke your back and tell you all these sweet things, all these kind things. But on the inside, their stomach is turning. Everybody's not trying to get better chosen ones. Some people feel like they are already who they are and nobody going to change them. I can remember, you know, times in the yearbook, you know, people would always write, 
Don't change for nobody. You know, stay the same. Keep your head up. Don't change for nobody. Don't don't ever change. Stay the same. Don't change. And some people really do that. Some people really live by that. See, chosen ones, this world got it twisted. This world thinks that you can look apart to be called apart. I've had some of the most sweetest and innocent faces. Some of the most softest voices. Some of the most feminine energy filled beings on the planet. Be just as demonic and be just as wicked. The world would have us to believe that if you wear certain clothes, if you wear your hair a certain way, if you don't have markings on your body, then you holy, then you righteous, then you can be trusted. If you dress a certain way, you can be trusted. If you wear a nice suit, you intelligent. If you wear glasses, you look smart. If you wear a church suit, then you got some God in you. If you don't have any tattoos, you a good person. And in the same way, the opposite of all of that. This is why so many people are deceived, chosen ones. Because we are so external based. We are so about what people wear on the outside, how they look on the outside. Everything is performance based. Everything is about looking the part. So people would think a certain way. And people know that. You probably have noticed, chosen ones, that the way you carry yourself, it's like you command respect. And there are other people who don't like that about you. These toxic people, these people who refuse to change, these people who don't want to step up in their mind, these people who don't want to step up in their life. So because people respect you in a certain way, because you carry yourself like you're worthy of respect, you're not caught up in the hoopra and all of that, you're not being controlled by anything outside of yourself, and you present yourself as a respectful person regardless of what you wear and how you look. You can have pink, blue, purple hair in your head, tattooed from head to toe. But it's your energy, it's your spirit that makes the difference. And chosen ones, people will be upset with you because of how other people revere you, how other people respect you, because you carry yourself like you are worthy of respect. So because people respect you, people will want to retaliate against you. People will want to teach you a lesson and show you that you're not better than them. And goodness forbid, don't let something pop off. To where they get real mad at you. They really gonna let it be known. You ain't perfect. Who you think you is? You ain't nobody. You just like us. Da -da -da -da. But the truth is you're not like them. You're not like them. And you are better. You better than that behavior. You better than staying the same. You better than staying with a low mindset. You better than focusing on how you gonna devour and bring somebody else down and destroy somebody else's confidence in life. You got light in you. You focusing on upward movement. Doing things to increase yourself and help other people. A lot of these dark hearted and dark soul people are not. And they're not trying to change. Everybody doesn't get better with age. Some people just want to stay the same chosen ones. Your growth will have a lot of people feeling like you trying to be better than them. Or like you trying to outsmart them. Or like you think you're just so much higher than them. But that's not even your fault. It's not your fault. And don't let them slow you down. It's not your fault that they don't want to take the time to quiet their mind and stop being so focused on how other people see them. Do other people see them as popular or as cool or as somebody high in their eyes? They don't want to take the time to actually get to know themselves apart from how other people view them or trying to be looked at a certain way in people's eyes. Or it's not your fault that instead of thinking about how to do evil to people, how to get over on people, how they can manipulate people, how they can get the one up on people, how they can always appear better than other people in the eyes of other people. Instead of going inward and doing that, they're focused on destruction. They're focused on just having a good time. They're focused on turning up all the time. That's why they look turned up. Literally. And not in a good way. And it's not your fault, chosen ones. Everybody is not trying to change. Everybody is not trying to do better. Some people love where they are. Some people just want to be more advanced in their evil ways. They want to be more advanced in their flashy ways. They want to be more advanced. Their growth is how they can look better in the eyes of other people. Their growth is how they can stunt on the next person. Their growth is how they can step on somebody else's neck. In a negative way. 
so that everybody would think that they the best. That's their growth. They level up in life is to appear the best in other people's eyes. It's all about competition. Everything is a competition to these type of people. That's why they want to get better. They don't want to get better for themselves. It's not personal. It's only to prove to other people certain things. It's only to knock somebody else down in other people's eyes. That's why these people want to get better. And their form of getting better is not even on an internal level. They want to get better for the external. Their form of getting better is more better furniture, a better house, a higher position, you know, uh, just, just more clout. That's their form of getting better. And nothing is wrong with these things in a healthy way. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with elevating and advancing that way. But these people do not want to get better on a soul level is what I'm talking about. It's just surface level. And you got to understand that people who think this way, people who are like this, they will be offended at your growth. They will be offended at your mindset. They will be offended at how you are and, and, and what you stand for and the respect you give and the respect that you get back. You know, in who and how you are and how you carry yourself. And we'll be offended and think that you think that you something higher or you're better than them. And I'm going to say this, you are. You are better than wickedness. You are higher than evil and griminess. You are chosen ones. So stay on your throne and stay in your power. It's these people's fault that they're wasting time. And they so focused on what other people think about them. They so focused on wanting to look the coolest in the eyes of other people. They so focused on getting ahead so the attention won't be on somebody else. That they go to extreme lengths. Twisting and turning themselves about making a fool of themselves. Just to outshine you. Just to knock you down or knock somebody else down. It's not your fault chosen ones. They don't want to do what they need to do. Everybody is not trying to get better. And they're going to be offended at your growth. They're going to be offended at what you're trying to do. They're going to be offended at the fact that you're trying to live right. You're trying to be right. You're trying to do the best you can. You want to treat people right. Acknowledging that you're not perfect. But you're trying. At least you're trying sincerely and with all your heart. But they not. They not. They trying with all their heart to knock other people down. They try with all their heart just to get in front of somebody else. They try with all their heart to level up on a surface level. That's all they trying to do. See, but because your energy dominate, they're going to be mad at you and they're going to be offended, chosen ones. But that has nothing to do with you. Keep leveling up mind, body, and spirit, chosen ones. Understand that everybody does not want to get better. Everybody will not want to get better. I know it's sweet to think that and hope that. But some people have already given up on themselves. And don't hurt yourself trying to help people who don't even want to help themselves. This is Marticia So Divine. Talk to you guys next time. Peacock Society, baby. Bye.